Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the three secrets to building a $100,000 social media marketing agency. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of an e-commerce agency transforming online brands into market leaders. What I want to do in this video is share with you guys the three keys that you must master to build a $100,000, a six-figure social media marketing agency. These are the three areas that once I'd mastered them, it really took my agency to a whole new level. And to master them, I went through a lot of pain, a lot of hours, a lot of time wasted on things that didn't really move the needle forward until I finally found a winning formula. And that is the winning formula I wanna share with you guys today so you avoid the wasted time, the wasted money, and you guys can almost shortcut your way to success with your SMMA. And you're really gonna to wanna to stick to the end because the final key was the one thing that really differentiated my agency from a lot of other agencies in the market and that really took things up a level for me. So I'm very, very excited for this video and without further ado, let's go right into it. So I've got pen in hand and my whiteboard and uh, let's get right into it. Now the first thing that we're going to want to master to take our agency to the next level is sales and outreach. And there's a few things that you want to keep in mind when you're going about your sales and your outreach for your agency. The first thing, the first key is that you want to spend 80% of your time on this component, on this aspect of your agency, especially when you're just starting out and you don't have many clients under your belt. What do you do with the remaining 20% of the time? You hire your team member, which I'll talk about in just a second. You build really robust systems. You build an incredible uh, ecosystem for your clients. But 80% of your time should be spent on sales and outreach. Now, when it comes to sales, especially for an agency, I like to say that there's four pillars. There's the lead sourcing and prospecting. There's the actual outreach, right? So reaching out to these clients. Then there is the follow-up. So I mean, making sure that you stay on top of these leads because the vast, vast majority of, of these leads are not gonna convert on that first instance. And the final pillar, the fourth pillar, is the actual uh, sales call, right? So making sure that once you get them on a call, you can actually close them on the call. So first things first, on the first pillar, on the prospecting and lead sourcing side of things, you wanna make sure that you streamline the process as much as you possibly can. So what do you wanna make sure, streamline, lead sourcing. The way you do this is a key component that you want to keep in mind, uh, lead sourcing. A key component is you don't want to spend more than five minutes per lead. And this is just to reduce a lot of complexity. Obviously, I could make a whole video on this. Uh, but the main thing is most agencies only spend so much freaking time compiling information about leads and prospects that haven't shown any interest on their agency or their services. Right? They don't even know if they're in the market for Facebook advertising or Snapchat ads or whatever service you guys are offering. Yet they compile all this information. Founders, what, what year the, the, the company was founded, right? The values, the mission, the five different decision makers in the company, how many employees do they have, the whole marketing strategy. And they spend around like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes on one single lead. The way I like to operate in business and my agency and everything live really is that I wanna make sure that if I'm putting a certain amount of input, I wanna make sure that at the very minimum, I get the same amount of output, right? So that my time investment or my money investment is not going to waste. Yes, there's a few things where you can uh, take a bit of a sunk cost, right? Uh, and you can just say, okay, I'm, I'm putting all this investment, maybe time investment, and I'm not necessarily gonna see the returns of this until maybe five years. But when it comes to daily activities and things you're doing on a daily basis, a lot of people put 30 minutes into finding leads Yet, that does not increase the likelihood of that lead responding to them. And that is one thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is the fact that if you're spending more than five minutes or, you know, if you're spending 30 minutes on a lead, on finding information about, about this lead, that does not increase the likelihood of this lead responding to you, right? So instead of you spending a ton of time uh, qualifying the lead, find ways that they qualify themselves to you. And that is the key with lead sourcing. The final thing that I will say about prospecting and lead sourcing is that as soon as you have a working system and you know how to do it yourself, Perfectly, make sure you hire a VA or someone that can come in and do the lead sourcing for you. So you can delegate that task and actually focus on closing clients, jumping on calls, and actually growing the agency because prospecting and lead sourcing is not a high impact revenue generating activity. So that is what I will say on the prospecting and lead sourcing side of things. The second thing you wanna keep in mind when it comes to sales and outreach is you have to have a system to make sure you predictably, predictable meetings, right? You predictably land meetings. And I've, I've, I've got a bunch of videos on this topic. You guys can check out this video right after this one. Uh, but the main thing here is you, you need to make sure you have a predictable system to land meetings. And the reason why that is, is because predictable meetings is directly correlated and the number of meetings that you, that you land on a daily basis is directly correlated to the number of clients you sign. 
the more meetings, the more clients you're gonna sign. Especially at the start, you need to make sure that you this is the top priority, that you're landing at the very minimum five meetings a week, but ideally around eight to 10. Why? Because at the start, you're probably not gonna be a sales god if you haven't had any sales experience. So you need to get those first meetings out of the way to build momentum, to build confidence, to field test certain uh, concepts, and to really find your ground when it comes to sales. The way I like to accomplish this is through a sales funnel that has automation in place, right? Where the top of the funnel is mostly automated. Automation. And where you're mostly focusing your attention on the people that have shown an interest. So that is that for the sales side of things. The second key to building a six-figure agency is making sure that the clients you do sign, once you have this in place, the clients you do sign, you can get them results so that they stay on for a long time and they refer you to other partners. And so second thing is results. And the way we accomplish this is through mainly two things. The first thing you wanna make sure you have is a checklist, a clear protocol process that you can take lines down to get them results, right? And so yes, this is gonna be personalized, but you have some sort of checklist protocol that you can take them down. And by the end of it, the goal should be to get them results. And this is one of those things that you should build as soon as you possibly can for your agency. This is a very rough draft, but I just wanna give you guys a bit of an idea, right? So you can do a checklist. You can have phase one, which could be, I don't know, the first uh, one to seven days, right? And you could have uh, number one is a troubleshoot pixel, okay, pixel. I'm not gonna write the whole thing because I wanna make this uh, video not too long. But for example, you could troubleshoot pixel, make, make sure that all the events are firing. And I've actually found that this is incredibly important to make sure you have this in place, to make sure you troubleshoot the pixel at every stage of the funnel, because it's one of those things, and I'm telling you guys from experience, it's honestly a nightmare when you have um, uh, issues with the pixel and it could cost you a client or two, okay? So you wanna make sure that you troubleshoot the pixel before even running any ads. Then the second thing, for example, could be uh, determine, determine uh, cre potential creatives, right? So those creatives that they've given you that have potential to run as, you know, for example, uh, top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel, which actually brings me to the second thing, which is you should have a funnel structure, okay? What are some of the ads that you're gonna run at the top of the funnel? What, what are some of the offers that you're gonna run? The first thing you wanna make sure that you have in place, especially as an e-commerce agency, is a funnel in place, okay? Not only for the front end, which is technically what we as an agency are held accountable, uh, but also uh, for, for the back end, right? So making sure that there's longevity to this uh, customer and that your clients will really thank you for it if you actually give a bit of thought into their back end and into their lifetime value. Okay, so that's, that's the, the funnel uh, structure. And it's one of those things that you really, really wanna make sure you have in place before running any ads. Because honestly, running ads for the sake of running ads is kind of just going blindly into the market and uh, you're probably not gonna have a huge success with that. So that is that for the checklist. Obviously, you guys can get a, a bit creative on that. And um, the second thing is wanna make sure that you obviously hire an A player. I've talked about this extensively on my channel, um, but you should not allow room for B players, C players in your team. Most people rush into this decision of hiring a contractor. Right, they think, oh, I just need someone for, uh, to, to run some Facebook ads, right? And uh, not only that, but once they do bring this uh, person on board, they have this very cold external feel to that partnership. And you guys have to understand that having an A player that does the service is not the end or be all of uh, an agency because the service is not the only thing that matters. But it's a very, very important aspect of the agency because this person is responsible for most of the results you get for your clients. Yes, you can wade into the uh, structure and architecture of the actual campaigns, and that is what I do very well, for example. Uh, I'm very, very involved in the actual uh, strategy, into the actual structure, uh, into the kind of uh, plan of attack that we're gonna follow. And the people on my team are the ones that mostly execute that plan. But this person is massively important for your agency, and you should put a lot of time into hiring this person through a hiring process that has several steps. You should get a lot of volume, a lot of applicants, which gives you a better definition of what you should be looking for and gives you a good reference point of what a great person is because you can compare them to a larger cohort of people, et cetera, et cetera. I think you get the point, right? You wanna make sure that you give enough time to the hiring of this A player. And the third secret, the third key to building a six-figure SMMA is making sure that you have the client experience on point. Client experience. And there's mainly two key components in this. The first one is communication, okay? And for communication, there's really three variables that you need to keep in mind. The first one is the frequency. The second one is the quality. And the third one is the format. Let me explain what this means. Let's actually start with formats. For formats, you could have calls, right? So calls with the client. You could have you know, a few lines, you know, 
few check-ins, right? Which could take place on Slack, for example. And you could maybe have video explanations, whatever it is, right? When it comes to quality, obviously they're all gonna be high quality. You don't wanna send a communication touch point that is just very poor quality because you might as well not send anything, right? So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you know how, how in depth do you go, right? So it could be very in depth. It could be more shallow, kind of like a check-in to make sure that you know they see that you're proactive. Uh, so just you know, quick check-in. Uh, so it could be in depth, very quick, whatever it is, you want to have a good balance because number one, you don't want to overwhelm your clients. Number two, you don't want to spend most of your time communicating with your clients, with your team members, right? Because you could spend that time on getting them results. So that is the quality and the frequency. You want to make sure that it's, it's predictable, right? So when, when are they getting each touch point? So that is communication. And uh, the final thing that we'll say is reporting. So how are you actually reporting the results you're getting for them? Are you being completely transparent? Do they have access to these results and are they able to digest them very easily and very quickly? That is what I mean by reporting. So guys, that is that for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just loves when that thing turns blue, so I'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. And uh, the final thing is if you haven't checked out the free masterclass I put together on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients for your social media marketing agency. Those are the clients that are paying us at least at the very minimum a thousand bucks a month. We go into a lot of these areas, but so much more in depth. I give you templates, scripts. It's honestly mind boggling that I've made this masterclass completely for free and that people are literally implementing this stuff and getting results for their agency. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always, guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.